Hit me! Wow. So, it's kind of a weird situation because I'm super stoked about the project. I'm really excited about getting done. I'm just kind of tired of working on it. Everywhere I look, there's stuff to do and we just need to get it finished, but it has to be, like you can't just do one complete thing because you have to keep checking for other things, so. Are we ahead on any of these other things? No. <laughs> I actually feel pretty good about it. It's just <laughs> got to start working on it somewhere. Is this heavy enough for the fender? Morning, Ed. A little warmer in here than normal. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Heating up your steel, huh? Yeah. This big gap back here gets filled with body panel. So that's body work. We'll build the fenders first and then build the body to it. Do you really want to follow the headlights like this? Or yes. Do you want to go straight down? Let me show you. I know it's an early model, but it follows the headlight. All right, that's what I meant. It's a light model. And it looks beautiful. I see it. That complicates it. I know, but I know it's going to really make or break it. I'll do it on my free time. Whatever you think you can do. So we're waiting for those other materials. You want to mess with the roll bar right now, then? Yeah, let's do that. That oh, sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, we're gonna learn something here so we get the other bend perfect. Well, it was good. It used to have a good handle. That's not too bad, is it, Ed? Just sitting there by the fire? Yeah. I think the first it would help out of the jack. How many times have you been home about Um, 700 times. Remember, this roll bar is for flops, not for desert racing where you're going end over end at 90 miles an hour. This is a low speed flop protection. Which the Corvair was designed for that anyway. Yep, designed for the, anyway. Let's cut these at 19 and a half. And then we'll cut the angle. That we need. Okay, we need a little more bend. Sleeve it, you mean? We'll figure it out. That's what we do, we figure it out. Okay, Rudy, cut this. I don't know exactly where this goes, but I like that. That looks good. How could I eyeball it? Not too shabby, huh? I'm gonna get some flack for that. That's not how you quench metal. Close. close to what? Did you get the hammer on? They, no, you could have hammered them on before. Oh, wow. We did demolition derby for a lot of years. Our wins depended on how well our welds were. Our lives were on the line. If our welds failed, we either died or lost. So, you know, our wells are pretty substantial. There's some trim pieces that are gonna have to be modified now. That's mighty pretty. This bar is a lot stronger than this. And I know we're, we're adding some weight to this project. And I'm sure someone's going to fight me on this, but these are the, the toughest domestic body for a passenger car possibly to ever come out of the trolley. 
We'll get me two uh, identical jack stands. Okay, Lindsay, stand up there on that. That's close enough for fingers. Hang on. Schedule's killing us. We're in this shop 14 hours a day and we're falling behind schedule. But we're pushing. We're really going for that goal of January. <laughs> we are. Oh, so we got these fenders done. They're not done. We got them installed, partially installed. Been doing the inner fenders. There's just engineering. It's really boring, but there's just so much engineering because we got to get fresh air from here to here and have a tire here. So we're building a chase here for it to go in. This is the fresh air for the AC system. So this inner fender is almost finished. There's, there's little things to do here and there, but it is, all the panels are in place. Here's where I'm at. People who know me know not to bet against me. On a time schedule, it's safe to bet against me. We're packing on top of the city. me! Wow. Where are you headed? Time some more bobbleheads. Uh -huh. So you're gonna get them down. Bring a few over here. Get them shipped. Get them online. Well, there's another one. This is the last one. Third one. Third one. Yeah. That's a nice big window, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not very hey, cool, but it's small. Is that the window or the door? So this was an area I was working on right here. This is where you can put your AC in. Base, sort of. Um, so back here is going to be a box that has my two pens. Let me show you. Let me <laughs> watch you this. I'm going to screw this to this. Okay. Little tiny screws. Glue it. Someone else screw it. Glue it. Yep. I'm actually going to build this out here for just the bolt tube. And so I'll have one fan here, and this one will. Duck into, duck, in, duck into that. And I mean, it'll, it'll be a box so no dust can get in it. So I got a hose from here to an adapter that goes through the wall. So two short little things. So I'll effectively be getting 25% fresh air all the time. In the fans. And the moment you get up right here, it's just a lot of So what I do when I'm fabricating is I imagine something in my head like how I want it to look and how I want it to turn out. Then I weigh that against the tools that I have and the skill that I have and how much time it's gonna take to make that happen. Is it really worth my time? And then I find a balance between what I wanted to do and what I'm able to do. You kind of don't even start out with a plan. You have an idea or a style in your head and then it, as you start to fabricate it, you'll start making little tweaks. You'll pivot, if you will. And uh, 
Sometimes it ends up looking exactly like you had it in your mind and sometimes it's a little bit different. But we always try to make it functional and stylish. There's an excellent idea right there. I'm just getting ready to brace the steering column. The factory has two points up here. It came down. And I'm going to reuse those top mounts, but this bottom's got to be a little custom. So we're going to build a thing to do it and we're going to build it out of this. Good. Why would Lizzie have more fun doing this than working with me? It's a good question. She could be tearing a roof off right now. This is Lizzie's uncle Sheldon and I stole her from his roofing company. Scout. Scout. So I'm getting some compensation here. Did you steal that? <laughs> Look at that! He came to get you back. Yeah, I saw that on the truck there. <laughs> you got a nice step right there. Whoa! Whoa! Well, do I look like I fit? It's tight. <laughs> Where are you guys all busy? Talk about real name. No! What's her, what's her real name? When she was like four months old, or five, when she could first start laughing, she would snort like a little piggy, and so I started calling her the oikus. The oikus? So, yeah. Yeah, but it stuck. <laughs> All your oikus. Okay, Rudy, will you hold that up and help me get this lined up? there's a part of this process and maybe I've mentioned it before and it seems like you're not getting anything done and you're just looking and looking and you're thinking about the processes and you're thinking about how they're going to work and how they're going to interact with each other and how they're going to interact on the trail or you know when it's raining or when it gets really hot or when it's really cold you got to think about all those things and and so I do spend a lot of time just seemingly doing nothing it's really frustrating if somebody's here and they're in a hurry to go somewhere and I just, I just want to look at it. Hey, when did you walk in? A long time ago. You were just intently welding. Ow. You might notice a gas pedal. Oh, a gas not a problem. No, no, it's nice when they're forward. Put the gas pedal all the way to the floor there. Yeah. Okay. Then I can really see over. And the tilt column works for you? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work. Anyway, thanks for watching.